as well as having hot, warm and interested prospects. You will have general data made up of visitors that came to your stand. So what do you do with this data? The aim is to stay connected and use the acronym TAG. Thank them, add value, gain consent. We discussed permission in the last tutorial and this applies to everyone that has passed you their business card or business details. Sending the first courtesy email to thank them for visiting your stand is normal. Any subsequent contact or via the newsletter or email campaigns will require permission. Make sure you gain consent before sending any more. You need to take great care with privacy laws, data protection and GDPR guidelines. Before adding any data on spreadsheets, take caution to make sure it's GDPR compliant. Most CRM systems are, but it's worth double checking before adding any data on there. So how do you stay connected? By using the acronym TAG. Thank them for visiting your stand. Creating a newsletter or email template before the expo will be helpful and allow you to send them information sooner rather than later. Filtering the data by industry or location or by another classification may help you customize your content more appropriately and possibly create a better impact. Consider what value you can add to encourage visitors to subscribe to your newsletter or email campaigns and stay connected. It may be tips or advice on a certain topic or savings on certain products. You may even connect with them on LinkedIn. By staying connected, you will always remain on their radar. And this can sometimes result in benefiting from introductions to their networks. Always gain consent by asking them to subscribe. Don't just assume because they visited your stand, you now have permission to add them automatically. Always give them the option to subscribe and stay connected. It's important to have a strategy to follow up everyone that visits, whether they are a prospect or not. It shows that you have taken time out to make contact, respect their privacy and gain permission to stay in touch. You never know, sometimes even general needs do convert in real prospects due to a change in their business needs. In our next tutorial, we will look at the second letter of FAB, A, analyze and debrief and spend time revisiting costings.